Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another Tropical Franchise Mode episode. And uh, since it's been a while, I actually want to make sure that everything is running fine before we continue because we definitely had some financial issues in the previous episode. So we definitely need to make sure that we're not going bankrupt before we can actually finish this zoo. But before we jump into it, I would love to thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. At Instant Gaming, you can get games like Planet Zoo, The Sims, Jurassic World Evolution, Farming Simulator, and many other games with a really nice discount. And by buying via their website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. I will make sure to put a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. So let's go and see what we can do to actually earn a little bit more money in our tropical franchise zoo. We right now have 16,000 so our money is slowly going up. Oh actually there are a lot of animals probably also maturing so we can maybe sell them for some money or put them up in the training center for adoption something like that. We could definitely look into First things first, I think we might want to raise some prizes. Oh, we actually have no vendor here. How? Oh, goodness. Yeah, I, I think we probably also fired some of our staff. So I'm not entirely sure if that was the best thing to do. But if we just raise the prizes here of our shops a little bit, the these drink shops are now synchronized. Did we already ask some money for a toilet block? Yes, we did. Let's go and raise that a little bit. Let's see about our food shop. Uh, that's only two products, so we can just raise this a little bit. I am not going to add any of these unless I also should raise. Okay, wait. Let's just select all of these and that is some extra cost of say oh, a few bucks actually i'm just gonna put this on 15. um that's an xl burger and then if we just make sure that we add some cheese and stuff onto this one as well and make this like 10 bucks or something like that maybe that can also help us this one is already set so i think this is perfectly fine the toilets are set as well so at least the entrance, oh, you see, we now only have 6,000, so we definitely need to work on some other things as well to make sure that we are earning some more money. Oh, that's right. Okay, we have some exhibits right over here, and we now have the exhibit management. This is going to help us, hopefully, to, okay, let's put this on one and that on one, uh, to hopefully earn a little bit more and... and easily money but i don't know maybe we well we don't have money to add more i was like maybe we should add a few more exhibits but that is definitely not how we can roll with this because we just don't have money to put down any more exhibits okay we just make this one one and this one gonna turn this on i think we already recently sold out their babies unless they are all still in the training center and i forgot to sell them but I think I already checked these in one of the last episodes. If we just quickly check. Okay, we have two animals. So I'm just going to quick trade these. It's a little bit of money. Our money is still going down. Our cassowaries are fighting. So you know what I'm going to... Ooh, we are just going to put these two up in the training center. So at least these animals will not be fighting anymore. But... Like, we can sell these two for some money, but if we do that, it's not even that much, but it's also not enough. So let's let's just sell these two for money. Let's just do that, because I feel like that is just the best thing to do. Our money is, is going rapidly down, so we definitely need to, uh, need to do something. Are we... Okay, we are getting 500 here from education. I think it is time to make sure that we check our staff again because 
it is going to be an issue. Like we are training our staff. There is one with a low workload at the Shavalsky's horse. And we have one with an efficient workload at the Shavalsky's horse. Do we have, yes, we only have two now. I remember that we had three staff members in there. This one has a high workload with the gorillas. Hmm, are we actually going to, yeah, you know what? I think, like, we have tons of horses in here. Maybe if we reduce the amount of horses, but if we reduce the amount of horses, we also get less income, right? Because less horses means less people being attracted to this area, meaning less people that will donate. So it's a little bit of the question what we should do. We have one staff member that is now like completely trained. We have Chino. So you definitely, because you are going to cause some fighting in here. Maybe we should just put one more up in the training center. Like we already lowered the food grades, I think, of all the animals. So this is not causing us to lose more money. Um, so that is not something we can actually still cut in. I am not sure. Yeah, I feel like maybe because the staff is not able to keep up with this habitat. So if we just put one more up in here and then fire the, yes, that's you. You are not trained. You are only here to clean. I am going to fire you. I'm so sorry. Again, like I've been doing this on and off for the Shavalski's horse so often. I'm just not really sure <laughs> what smart to do anymore with the Shavalski's horse. You guys will must be thinking like, ah, oh, there she goes again with her Shivalski scores. All right. Our bottlenecks here with... Oh, this is actually really cool viewing if you come out of here. I did not plan this to be perfectly aligned like this, but it's actually really cool that you are walking through here towards the Indian elephant habitat. Oh, that's actually really awesome. How are these elephants doing? They have an issue with the enrichment item. The water is too low. Yes, yeah, so we, we need to expand this habitat as soon as possible. Is there anything we can do with enrichment? Well, they still have a green welfare, but we might want to make sure that we do not get more offspring than maybe like the elephants that are pregnant. There are no elephants pregnant. So you know what? I am just going to make sure that these guys cannot reproduce anymore until we like expanded this habitat. Do we have any other special? Yes. Okay. We can actually do this. We can add some, I, I don't like the, the popping out. <laughs> Maybe we should just go from, yes, if we start on the bottom and then go up, that works a lot better, actually. So I'm going to put this on 10 and this on 14. And okay, that one is synchronized. So Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. I'm not sure, guys, if we should hire some more vendors because like closed shops are not going to earn us anything, but this one is not busy. So I, I guess, I guess it's good. So if we just add these, uh, I feel like maybe just add, make it eight bucks and then add this one at eight bucks and then add these things at eight. I actually have never really tested this more than just raising prizes, but I do hope that the guests will not complain about any prizes. This is a really nice area, isn't it? It actually looks really cool. How are, like, I hear the Siamangs, but how many Siamangs do we have right now in our zoo? Like, I, I remember that we wanted to have, like, a big family. We only have two, of which one is thirsty? 
Why are you thirsty? There should be like a water pipe. Yes, that one is hidden right over there. So uh, can you maybe just uh, go here and then, then just have a little uh, drink or anything like that? <laughs> I hope you can. Oh gosh, okay, we are getting more Shavalski's horses. If we just go back right over here. Wait, first I want to see like how many conservation credits do we get for... Oh gosh, it's so low, 87! For three? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get some more money out of that. Our money is still going down. Or like oh no, yeah, well, up down, up down. It's it's not much, definitely not. The white tigers. We have some cubs in here. Like, how old are you? 1.6 years old. But I I don't really think that there is any way of earning more money out of these Bengal tigers. Everything is running pretty smoothly here, so that is definitely a good thing. But I, I do think that we need to check up on other shops to see if we can earn a little bit more money from that. Like, we have this information stand, and I, I don't think... Oh, wait, that one is synchronized with the rest. Oh, it's not. Okay, can we just, like... It's raining pretty often here, right? So maybe umbrellas... <laughs> <laughs> for like six bucks. The expensive pack is already quite expensive, actually. I don't really feel like... Oh, wait, wait, maybe three dollars for the audio guide. I don't know how much you are selling from that. Can we see that? I don't think you can. No, I don't think you can see what they're selling. Wait, we can actually raise the prices here as well. Eyes is only 10 cents, but let's let's just add... Or ask seven bucks for this, including ice. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's, it's a lot more. I can only hope that the guys will not complain about this. And do we have a different shop right over here? I think Chief Beef we already had. Yes, Chief Beef is already synchronized. So that is all good. Look at our money. Now we have 15,000. I think raising all these prizes is going to help us. Especially in the long run, we have information stands right over here. We have some food trucks on this side. I actually don't know. Oh, this is Mr. Fried. We already did that one. We have the pip shop water. Now I am not entirely sure. No, we did not. We can add ice and ask $6 for it. And this one is going to be $5. And that was it. I think these are all the shops that we can earn some money with. Did we already buy any chance? Yes, perfect. Okay, we have a few more animals to sell right over here. So how about if we just go to our zoo overview and have a look at our guest thoughts? It's scorching out here. I'm thirsty. I'm okay paying that much for toilet block. Sorry. <laughs> Pip shot juice like so busy. I'll try somewhere else. I'm okay paying that much. People are thirsty. Would there be any spot smart to add another drink shop? Uh, which one is that? Guest needs thirst. Where are most of the guests thirsty? Okay, wait. This is the entrance. There are guests waiting in line. So that should be good. There are shops right over here. These guests are thirsty. I, I feel like this is pr like close enough to these shops. M maybe, but, but there are not really that many guests here. So that doesn't really feel like the best spot. This is the Shavalski's horse. We have one. Uh, honestly, if I look at this whole map, knowing where my buildings are... I don't really feel like I am able to really put, un unless it's like too busy, which it is right over here. But do we have two? Yes. Okay, but this one is closed. So I'm not entirely sure, but I kind of feel like if I just add um, a few more vendors, and this is going to cost us money, I know. But I feel like there are too many shops closed, at least for the drink shops. 
So if they can help us, oh right, we can go here. If they can help us to to have all these shops open, wait, are they actually in the Everything Work roster? Because maybe entrance shops. Yeah, you see. Okay, wait. I should actually assign these guys to a better work roster. I'm not sure if they are. Uh, no, they are not in here. So this one, I want you to go to the entrance shops. That is this one. And then we did hire another one right over here. Do we have like a Fennec Fox shops or something in, in, in this little area? We have one at Elephant Shops, so I think we can also assign one vendor to the Elephant Shops. So that should be you, Elephant Shops. And then we have Hazel. And Hazel, I actually want to see if we can maybe make a new work roster with these shops. And where is... is this like a staff room? Yes, this is a staff room large. So if we just have these and then a Fennec fox shops and then how many shall we add fennec fox shops so we do need to add i think maybe five or six vendors if we do that then i think we should be good for this area i, I think i'm gonna try with five for now so that one and then have one, two, three, four, five from the everything work roster. And you are all going to be changed to the Fennec Fox shops. And this might cause these vendors to leave. Oh no, they are still in the everything work zone. So if we just added this one and then just deselect them, then they are only in one work zone so all the vendors this, this might cause them to close these shops for a little bit but as soon as they change because i obviously don't know if if the right people are in the right work zone but this this might actually help because as far as i can tell so far some of these drink shops are closed due to not enough vendors so that might be the solution we are actually already earning quite some money right now breed exhibit species okay perfect so did we actually breed more perfect thank you oh the puff adder earns quite some money oh that's good to know thank you that's really nice so right now we we actually do have quite some money and i do feel like maybe because we don't have that many gift shops do we i i, I don't think so gas knees can we see that no, it's just the happiness. I, I don't think that I have any gift shop in the zoo. ATM, drink shops, food, information, merchandise. Oh, high demand. Oh, that is that at the end? Oh, that's right. I actually <laughs> pulled these two down right over here. We're like, oh yeah, we definitely need some gift shop somewhere. But it's, it's not like really the perfect spot for it. But if we just make sure that we have these stands somewhere else in our zoo as well, I think that would definitely help us to earn a little bit more money. So yeah, let's go and see if we can uh, squeeze in a few more of these uh, gift shop stands somewhere. Okay, so I added two stands right over here at the elephant habitat. And I feel like, do we have any elephant shops already in a work zone? I don't... Yes, elephant shops. So we're going to add them into this work zone. Wait, those are not the ones that I was looking for. These two right over here. But where is there... <gasps> that is actually... Oh, wait, there is a path going here to the back side. Yeah, okay. No, I think that's completely fine. Now, it did hire three vendors, and I am actually not sure if I want to keep them all, but to make sure that all these shops... Okay, there's only one unassigned, so... Okay, no, wait. We have all three right over here, so I'm going to put you in the elephant shops. I'm going to put you 
in the elephant shops as well. And then we're gonna put you in the elephant shops as well. But, 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 you know what we got with the free update, the free anniversary update. <gasps> oh, wait, there's a path not connected here that is going to cause any issues. Oh, wait, what did I just do? Okay, this is all temporarily because this is going to be changed. These two shops are now closed. We did not get any hats in here, but I actually am thinking to deselect the spider hat keep the african wild dog lion hat and rhino hat yes and you know what we are actually going to ask uh 14 dollars for that 14 dollars for that 14 dollars for that and then the shops the loony balloons we now have i'm going to deselect the red balloon orange balloon green balloon yellow balloon pink balloon and then we have the adoption packs i feel like hmm want to change this to 12 27 that's that's because of the elephants you know i see it's not sinking if you have like different type of shops it doesn't sink per product unfortunately and i do want to have the anniversary balloons so i think we want to ask 10 bucks for the anniversary balloons i want to keep all of them i don't really well maybe the red panda listen we ha don't have a red panda but we do we don't have giraffes in this suit either. I don't have chimps. Uh, I'm just... Okay, I'm going to sell them all. <laughs> okay, we have all... The vendors should be coming this way. So I think this is a perfectly fine spot for that. I actually do feel at the Shavalsky's horse, maybe? Well, this is pretty close. Maybe we should... Like, this is the Rhino Plaza. Maybe somewhere over here, but we actually still need to like add a lot of stuff here. But you know what? I'm actually just going to add two of these stands right over here. And hopefully this is going to earn us a little bit more money as well. Okay, so it's just a momento and a loony balloons right over here. I think only to just a momento we need to change. I think cuddly toy, picture book, t-shirt. Yeah, so let's, let's all keep this like so. The loony balloons is already synchronized with the rest. Now we do have a staff building right over here, which makes it a lot easier to just make a new work zone for only these shops. So Rhino Plaza shops. And then we only need to make sure it did hire already two or one vendor. Just a momento. Yes, okay, so we can just make sure that we have the Rhino Plaza shops and this one to the Rhino Plaza shops. And do we really want to have three in here? Well, you know what? Hopefully it's going to become a little bit more busy in here because people might be attracted to these shops and they are also going to spend some money, I hope at least. All right. Oh, let's have a look at all our animals because we have not been uh, checking them. I think these two extra spots with some gift shop should be helping. So let's quickly have a look right over here. <gasps> we have so many otters. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that still enough? Like, are you guys not complaining about this? So oh no. You guys actually love a good group. How about the terrain? Ooh, the deep water is just enough at this point wow we have so many otters in here are there also otters like deep diving yes oh it's been so long since i've checked you all out oh, still one of my most favorite habitats that i've built especially like the underwater viewing i, I just really love how this looks with all the logs and stuff Definitely one of my most favorite things that I've built in this zoo. A uh, taper hat offspring. So, oh, look at this little one. Hi. Oh, it's been so long as well. Oh, look at that baby otter. Look at that. Oh, they're so peaceful in here. I love that. You can, you, you can tell how quiet it is, even though there are a lot of guests here. So the signs do not disturb definitely work. So how about our Malaysian tapir? Okay, we have two adults, 
and one little baby so that is all going very well oh my goodness you are so adorable i love these wiggly ears and and just the the, the color <laughs> the color pattern <laughs> oh you're so cute oh man so let's quickly have a look because i do feel like maybe not all our animals are doing that well we have one giant oh you are getting offspring in february oh that's next year oh that's amazing so i am assuming that we did not already have some offspring that would be a little bit too fast so this is the first yes the first one oh that's perfect look at our money go guys i think this might have helped Although I do still feel like we definitely need to make uh, make sure that all the animals get back into like the better food quality and stuff. I think the binturong is doing all right. We still have the two baby boys. Also great one in food. You are sleepy head. There is one sleepy head. Look at these two. Look at that cute face. <laughs> okay, I know, I know. The last time I mentioned them super ugly. <laughs> but that was just because I had the game on pause mode. And then I had a really ugly face of one of the adults. And I was like, Ooh, you are so freaky. <laughs> but they're not that ugly. They're kind of cute. But I still am disappointed that I have not seen them hanging on their tail pretty much very disappointing what do we have right over here water treatment requires repairment oh let's call mechanic are our mechanics doing well okay efficient workload low workload we definitely don't need any more security guards i actually do feel like maybe we can just fire oh yeah okay well this was one of the lowest ones with uh regarding star so i think it's all right we actually lost quite some money how is our uh finance overview doing at this point total profit three thousand so oh gosh you make such mu so much noise three thousand so i i think that might be good this year's profit one thousand yeah, but we're not there yet, that's for sure. So firing a few of, of the staff really doesn't feel bad. Like, I don't want to fire more of the keepers. I think we should not do that. We have two educators doing well, efficient workload, mechanics. I, I don't really feel like reducing this because they also need to fix, like, fences and stuff. M maybe we should just fire another security guard however they can never be everywhere so firing them even though they have a low workload would mean that maybe we, we will get like more issues in our zoo so i'm not entirely sure if we should crime replace well there are only two oh that was it pickpockets chased 12 victims 42 last year 47 yikes okay maybe when firing one of the <laughs> one of the security guards this might be going up caretakers fennec fox shops i actually totally forgot that we selected these oh, oh wait a second did i actually i think i did something wrong yes oh you you guys probably <laughs> seen that already but I think, yeah, I put the wrong people. There is no... <laughs> gosh. Right. Okay. I selected the wrong staff members to be working in the Fennec Fox roster with the shops. So I need to do it again, but then select the right people. So And then select these <laughs> to the Fennec Fox shops. Oh, goodness. Right, this is not how you're going to survive if you you keep <laughs> making this, these kind of mistakes, lady. This is not going well if you keep doing this. Okay, this staff member has been fired. 
I, I don't really dare to fire any vendors unless, well, unless we would train them because there are a few that have a high workload, but that is also due to the fact that they're not trained. So what, how much, oh, that's really not that bad. How about we also train our caretakers? So let's do that as well. We do have some money for that, so I'm not too worried about that, to be completely honest. Other than that, yeah, I am a little bit worried about these keepers, but our animals are not dying <laughs> or like starving to death. Do we have some more exhibit animals in here to sell? We do not. Okay, let's see, because we have a fennec fox habitat right over here. How many do we have in here? How is our family doing? Ooh, oh, this is going pretty well. We have quite some fennec foxes in here. Hello, you adorable fennec fox baby. Look at that. <laughs> Staring right at you with the big black eyes. You're so freaking adorable, aren't you? But yeah, these guys are doing really well. Like this habitat is, is, is big enough. So I don't think we will get any issues very soon unless these three babies will grow up. So we definitely need to keep an eye on that. But as of right now, I think we are super fine and these fennec foxes are not going to cause any issues. How are our lovely Zuri and Adonis doing? Did they already get some offspring? They might have actually. Oh, look! What? How are you called? Ale Bagwa? Look at you run! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Cuteness overload. I love how they, they run with like the, the, the tip of their toes first. It's so funny, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, you are definitely the cutest. Oh, I'm so happy they got a little baby boy in here. Wait, are you able to reach that? Or do you have to wait? <gasps> oh, that's cheating. That is so much cheating. That's so unfair. Look how beautiful this game looks. The sunlight coming through there. I was actually secretly hoping that he would wait until his dad or mom would come and then they would do this and then it was like, oh yeah, now I can eat. That would be just super adorable. This, this was a little bit cheating, I guess. Okay, the Shavalsky horse is getting more offspring. Maybe we should. Oh, look. Maybe we should give some contraceptives for the time being. <laughs> Until the time that we are not able to get another keeper back in here to, to clean the stuff. I actually think that might not be a super bad idea if we just give all of them contraceptives in here. I think that's a smart thing to do. <laughs> flamingos, I think the flamingos are doing fine. I, I have the feeling that not too long ago we did check the amount of flamingos in here. Yeah, we gave them contraceptives, so I'm not too worried about these guys. So we did check the rhinos, we did check the Shavalsky's horse, the elephant, Siamang, the cassowary right over here. And our money is going up, but it's still not too much. We can do something with the gorillas right over here. Oh, look at Chino. Oh, Chipo. <laughs> Chipo is still a little baby. Still did not grow up. Look at you. You're so pretty. <laughs> I'm actually really happy to see that, but it, it probably, well, 10 years. I think it's around 10 years before gorillas grow up. So it, it's, it's gonna take some time still before Chipo is going to grow up. Oh man, gorillas are so awesome really are but there are not that many outside well the gas probably won't complain i think they can still see some of the gorillas outside just well i just love walking in the western lowland gorilla habitat 
You love walking in it? In it? Are you really sure about that? <laughs> the scenery here is awesome. Well, thank you. Bam. Puppet, puppet. Yes, thank you. <laughs> The scenery is epic. Well, I'm really glad you think so. Is there anything... Oh, you are not happy at all. You can't even tell if it's Thompson Gazelle from here. This should be a Thompson Gazelle, but I honestly can't tell. I'm part... <laughs> God, you're having the worst day of your life, haven't you? Oh, and this one is super happy. This place is great. I want to buy a souvenir. Baby southern white rhinos are the cutest. Oh, I totally agree with you. My drink from Pip Shop Water was great. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Well, I do think talking about gift shops that they are going to help. Wow, well, okay. This this was... Where are... But, but, where is the staff? Is that you? Information counter. Resting at staff room. Poor shops. And you? What work roster do you work in? Wait, m maybe? Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe these... Uh, just a second. Where is that staff that I just assigned? I mean, m maybe they're just very far away or something like that. That could be. That they're still trying to head over here. Rhino Plaza Shops. Efficient workload. But where are you working? Madeline. Oh, okay. So you are still heading this way. And you are also still on your way. Why are you going to rest? Okay, well, maybe that, that, that should be this one. I am assuming this is number six. Yes. Okay. All right. No, well, I, I was maybe... Uh, Speaking a little bit too fast. Now, I obviously do not know how many people will be attracted to this area. But I do hope that it's going to bring in some cash. Also, like these shops right over here. They are, there's one open. These guests are going here. How, many, how much did you sell? Because it might not be the best strategical spots where I put these now that I think of it. Maybe if I put it at... A more okay. Well, and there are there are more guests now coming. M maybe if we put it at a different like profit this period. There we go. Okay, you are at least earning some profit. Customers served. Well, maybe it could be that this staff member also just entered. So maybe we were just a little bit too fast. You were at the elephant shops. If we just check. The other elephant shop's employee probably had... No, I don't want you to go to Cosmic Cow. I, I don't really understand <laughs> why you're going... Oh, wait a second. Yes, of course, we have more shops in the elephant work roster right over here. So, does that mean... These are all open, so you are probably going to change with one of the vendors right over there. Well, that only leaves me with one more option. I want to open this shop right over here as well, because I do want to make sure that we are earning some more money. Elephant shops. Okay, perfect. I, uh, I think we're just going to try and see if this is going to work. Look at all these little ones in here. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh man, I can't wait to finish this habitat. This is going to be so freaking amazing once this is completely done. But yeah, we definitely need to find some time to do that. But it's good to be back and uh, hopefully does have one more tech. Uh, 32,000 is definitely more than we started with. I did hire a lot of staff, so hopefully that is not going to ruin it. But hopefully we are going to earn some more money out of that we have to wait and see i really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode do let me know in the comments down below obviously in the next episode we are definitely going to add another animal again because obviously we do want to expand this beautiful tropical zoo as well again leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys